All right, what's up? Good morning, everybody. Unfortunately, I can't be trading today. So you're going to get this month's, well, last month's recap of everything day trading. We're going to go ahead and look at my TraderSync account, and we're going to go directly into my Interactive Brokers account. If you guys are interested in using TraderSync, which is what I use to track all of my trades that you're going to see in this video, make sure you check out the link down in the description below. Use the code and you'll get 15% off your subscription. Let's go check out May. How did I do? Hey guys, are you tired of using the same old stock market scanner and getting the same old results? Add some intensity to your trading with the Intensity Stock Watch Scanner. The Intensity Indicator is the only predictive price action indicator that alerts before significant reversals, allowing trade management with unprecedented timing and accuracy. Now with this exclusive link and code GDTISW, you can get 20 to 30% off every month on your subscription. It's time to finally get the results you've been looking for and intensify your trading with the Intensity Stockwatch Scanner. All right, so here we are in my Trader Sync calendar. Here you can see the month of May, and I mean, right off the bat, we ain't gonna hide it. We ain't gonna sh wait to show everything at the end. You can see exactly what I made here in May. I made after commissions $2,782.56. Cents. So almost a $3,000 month and I almost more than doubled what I made in April and March was a little bit higher than April. You can see February and January really slow starts the year, but ramping up going into the summer. So I don't know how that if that's going to be able to continue on, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and look at the breakdown of all the trades here in May. Okay, so here's everything that I did in May. You can see I had 40 total trades with an 8.51 profit factor, <laughs> obviously I had that good month. There's that $2,782 win and I had a 90% win rate in May and that was really only taken down by a couple trades. I did have one loss on the month that you guys didn't see if you saw that red day on the calendar toward the end. I took one afternoon uh, play when I got home early one day, it didn't quite work out. So there's that loss there. I had the two losses, that one losing day, on ARQT and SYY that didn't quite work out. But other than that, May was almost all green. This is the uh, option play. That's the uh, AMC option YOLO that I took that uh, didn't work out. So that expired useless. But I uh, only had $36 in that, so no big deal. And really what got it all started was the beginning of the month. I mean, look at this beginning of the month here. This is, you know, 200 there's that $600 day on IP. I actually was live streaming that day here on IP when I made that $600 day, 100, 100, 100. So you can see I am trying to push things a little bit more. A lot of $100 trades, uh, $200 days, $300 days. And when, as long as I'm keeping the same stats and not getting anything crazy in my head, uh, if I have a loser, SMT. then you know, it's, it's, it's going to be green and I'm going to be looking good here. So uh, feeling good about me. So one thing people like to give me a hard time about is your losers can be so much bigger than your winners. Well, yes, but when you're winning 90% of the time, that's built in. And also, we scroll down here, my profit to loss ratio was almost one to one, despite everyone always saying how bad my profit loss ratio is. It was almost one to one here in May. All right, just a couple little interesting pieces of information had a total of t almost 25,000 shares traded with an average Hold time of eight minutes, which is actually probably longer than it has been. So that's good because I'm trying to let those winners run a bit more. And uh, the average lose time BPTH. says two days, but that's because it had that AMC uh, call option YOLO in there. All right. When we switch over to interactive brokers, you can see I'm actually in my wow, web browser here, not uh, screenshots BPTH. or anything like that. This is every symbol here on the left that I traded throughout the month. And the results, if we scroll down... You can see in stocks, I made before commissions $2,999. I paid $180 in commissions and it came out to a total of $2,818.59. BPTH. And then also had that one uh, loser on the options there. And that's where we get the grand total of $2,782.55 after commissions. But I did accrue interest as well of. $61. So an extra $61 will be added to the BPTH. account there via the interest payments 
from Interactive Brokers. So if you're interested in using Interactive Brokers, you do get, I think it's like 5% monthly on your unused cash. So you will accrue interest BPPH. and that kind of helps with the commissions paid and all that, which is really nice. So that's it for me, everybody. If you are interested in using any of these tools that I use, you can actually go to my website. I don't know if you guys know, but I have a website, garagedaytrader.com. It's not courses or anything like that. It's just all about the stuff that I use to trade with. So you can go in, you can learn all about the Intensity Stockwatch Scanner, some great videos on there, my strategy on there, of course, the discount code on there. You can go in, you can learn all about TraderSync, uh, get the discount on there as well. You can learn about you know my my trading setup, trading gear, and then you can even check out my other channel, which is Whiskey Tears, if you guys are interested in that. So hey, appreciate you watching. May was a pretty good one. Hopefully, gonna keep it running up into June, and I'll see you guys in the next video.